Cadets' families were invited to the fire academy today to see how hard their loved ones trained. And this afternoon, if you listen closely, you just may have heard the faint sounds of a graduation. Didn't mean to fool you, that graduation music was actually coming from my phone because there is no actual ceremony here today at the fire training academy. Even though nearly four dozen fire cadets were supposed to graduate today. Preserve, protect, and defend. The group recently practiced their firefighter's oath with Union President Marty Langton. But the actual oath may never come for them. Mayor Turner's decided not to swear these firefighters in yet due to the ongoing discussions over the price of voter-approved pay raises through Prop B. Today, the mayor hastily canceled his regularly scheduled news conference. Do you have a minute we can talk about the firefighters not graduating today? Weeks ago, we showed you the plight of 23 other firefighter cadets in the same situation. Finished with their training, but filling time, digging holes, raking leaves, and pouring concrete. This is not work saving Houstonians lives and according to the fire chief, not the best way to use these trained lifesavers. As of today, there are 66 firefighters just waiting at the academy. The best uh, and the most efficient use of our, these resources is, uh, is out in the field protecting uh, the community. And now online, this. An open call from the Memphis Fire Department for trained Houston cadets to jump ship and take the training you paid for to help people in Memphis, Tennessee. It's kind of like what Moses said to Pharaoh, let my people go. Well, I say, Mayor, I swear in these firefighter cadets, let them go. The Memphis Fire Department is coming to Houston next month to sign up trained life cybers to work there. The trapped cadets here would get an immediate $26,000 raise if they left. On top of all of that, one of the cadets trapped at the academy turns 36 years old tomorrow, and it's not an especially happy day. If he wasn't sworn in by then, Texas civil service rules could have kept him from ever being sworn in. The mayor said he was looking into it, and just seconds ago, I got video of Fire Chief Sam Pena swearing him in. That's progress. More than 60 left to go.